Gentlemen, same conditions as the previous match. Is there any questions? No. Leandro, heads or tails? Eight heads. Let's see. Picture, picture first. Thank you. Didn't quite see who won the, uh, the toss, or at least what they decided to do there. Very loose game from Rieti. A game that Gasquet will happily accept as he picks up an early break. Oh, it's exquisite. As I say, he's an entertaining player to watch, Rieti. Too much court craft from Gasquet as of yet. <laughs> A lovely combination. It was an early break that did the damage. It's a slow start for Rieti. Other than that, Gasquet holding so pretty comfortably throughout as he takes the opening set by six games to three, and France are a set away from the final. Oh, it's a booming forehand. Kick serve. Closes it out with an ace. It's kind of had an inevitable feeling about it, hasn't it? This encounter since the early break. Two very similar sets, albeit one going for France, the other going for Switzerland. And there'll be a match tiebreaker to, deci to, to decide this match. And if France are able to win it, it will decide the tie. And Rieti takes the second set by six games to three. Oh, it's a delight. What a sweet strike that is, just when he needed it. It's a Gasquet special. It will be Rieti, would you believe it? A double fault at the worst time. Parisha Gasquet and Rieti with the chance to keep Switzerland alive in this tie. He's missed it. And it's another brilliant win for Leandro Rieti. France with two points away from the final, but it's not to be right now for the home side. As Leandro Rieti springs a surprise, comes from a set down, 
and is able to claim another fantastic win. Having beaten Runa a couple of days ago, he can add Gasquet to the list. And he is so far unbeaten at the Hopman Cup. And it means it'll all come down to the mixed doubles. He levels the tie against France for Switzerland as he gets the better. Richard Gasquet, 10-8 in the match tiebreaker.